So we've talked a little bit about the document.write, and like I said, the main reason we talked about it is because it's come up already. The last video we watched uh, for last week talked about the document.write, and it looked real handy for just building a whole bunch of really cool stuff on our page. And it is, assuming that you're going to be doing it all at load time, um, then it can be really handy. And and great and and if it makes sense to you and you understand how it works then feel free to use it uh, if you want to stick to the way that we've been doing things and understand a mechanism for doing something similar using this doing it the same way we've been doing things I want to show you how to do that real quick and so basically um, what we're gonna need to do that is we're gonna need to create a JavaScript function that builds um builds an HTML a chunk of HTML that we can then use our document dot get element by ID method to push that HTML uh, into an existing element like a div or a span some of the things that we've talked about so far this semester so we can build that HTML using our function and our our loops or whatever else and then put that HTML into the page and I've got a function over here that I've already written that does that and we'll go ahead and copy it in and then spend a few minutes talking about it. Um, this function is called build HTML and what I'm gonna build is this same chunk of HTML that we've been building already and the others is just a uh, list one through five or one through eight. We're, let's call this one through six just so that we know that it's run differently uh, or we know when it's run and um, let's go ahead and get rid of this script down here because we're not going to use the document.write at this time we're going to do it the same way we've been doing other things now in order to do that we're also going to need a div down here that we're going to use to save our HTML into once we've generated it and we'll get back to that one in a minute so let's look at the function a little bit it's called build HTML and the first thing I'm gonna do is create a string and initialize it as empty just because it's good practice to initialize your strings to be uh, empty and then we're gonna run our same function that we used to build the string before but this time instead of using a console or excuse me a document dot write we're just gonna save uh, the thing into a string that we continue to build so uh, each time the loop runs we add a new piece onto it in this case we're gonna take I which is gonna start at zero and the BR which is the line break so we're gonna take uh, the first time it runs through it's gonna do zero and the line break the second time it's gonna run through it's gonna because we've got this here the plus equals it's gonna take what was there before and concatenate the new thing onto the end of it so we had before the zero BR and then it's going to add on to it 1 BR and then the next time it runs through 2 BR all the way up through 6 BR and build out a valid chunk of HTML Now we could do that with H1's we could do that with P tags paragraph tags we could do that with any type of an HTML tag you want you just need to make sure that the end result of what's in this string is going to be um, valid HTML so that where it could get a little tricky and then once we have our valid HTML saved into the string we can use our document dot get element by ID to set the inner HTML of an existing HTML element which this one doesn't exist yet some of you may have caught by already so we need to make sure that this div is called output so that these two when we set the inner HTML of this HTML element which is this div down here we're gonna set it equal to our string down here so now when I click test well that's gonna be another problem because our button is calling our old function that doesn't exist anymore so our button we need it to call our new function build HTML so now our button will call our new function create the string and then save the string out into this div let's see if it works there we go there we have it we change this to 8 run it again we'll get everything working in there now just to kind of solidify this in our minds let's go ahead and look at this one other way let's go ahead and use our developer tools inside of Chrome to watch this um, I've got it gone ahead with create a breakpoint here at my string so we can watch my string get built I've got a watch expression for my string over here um, I've got a video that I shared with you guys earlier in the semester about watch expressions and we're just gonna watch this kind of like a desk check 
and watch my string get built. And so as I call my function, we notice the first time it runs through, my string gets set to empty. We're going to ru run through, and it gets added one br, just like I said. And then we're going to step through again, two br. And then as I step through each time, it just keeps building this HTML string. And when it gets through to, I guess, 5 is what we had here, um, it goes ahead and pops up. And um, spits out the text there. So that kind of shows you, allows you to watch that uh, string get built, the HTML to get output. Uh, into the div element that we had down there and I hope that helps clarify a little bit of the differences between the document.write and what we've been doing already this semester. Um, if you understand the document.write clearly like I said feel free to use it to build your uh, stuff this week. If you don't want to get into it you can use what I just did to build your times tables um, and then use a button to put them onto the page if that helps. Uh, either way is going to work but uh, I hope that works, or I hope that helps. Good luck.